hello guys welcome to my youtube channel how you guys doing my ghanaian audience nigerian audience african audience in fact wherever you're watching me from are you watching me from nigeria let's mention names of some african countries today south africa angola uh Benin republic togo mali senegal wherever you're watching me from you're welcome to my channel and i appreciate the fact that you make our time you know in your tight busy uh, schedule to watch my videos not just watching the interaction in the comment section and all that um i'm really happy you know without you guys i'll be discouraged you know about making these videos that i do and put out here okay i want to say a very big thank you to all my returning viewers you know all of you that have been watching my videos and if you are uh if this is the first time you are seeing my face the first time you are tuning into my channel you're welcome watch the video from the beginning up to the end if you find it interesting and like it's like um, the type of videos you like to watch you can just like subscribe subscription is free just click the subscri uh, subscription button subscribe and then you can even share the video okay so today i'm going to talk about an interesting topic an interesting topic you would learn i would learn because yes i'll learn because in the comment section will you tell me what you think because normally nobody's a hundred percent right you know like how, how do i even say it like nobody knows it all uh-huh so i also would learn from you guys in the comment section so it's always open so so that you can comment and tell me what you think so the topic for today is how close enough nigeria's border in august 2019 affected businesses in ghana it also affected businesses in nigeria and some other uh african countries other uh, uh, west african countries it affected businesses okay but it was for the best of interest for nigeria to close its uh borders land borders you know as at that time you know according to economists and some other uh, people but today let's talk about uh, you know how it affected you know uh, west african uh countries especially ghana okay <clears throat> especially ghana so now uh because I, I wrote down some certain things some points now in 2019 the federal government of nigeria ordered you know the closure of the land borders over illegal the reasons why the federal government of nigeria closed its land borders over you know illegal importation of drugs hmm? um so i don't want to mention it just like that because of uh, uh violations okay and agricultural uh products into nigeria okay from neighboring west african countries so yes in 2019 nigeria closed its land borders you know because of the reasons that i mentioned you understand so it affected uh business businesses in ghana you understand let's start with a uh, casapreco uh company okay let's start with a uh, casapreco uh company you know they are the producers of alomo bitters and there's no nigerian that doesn't know alomo bitters hey alomo bitters no nigerian we know no alomo bitters like nigerians used to take did they, they, they take them um, did they, they take them um, so much okay so now manufacturer of alomo bitters casapreco company limited you know disclosed that it had that it had that was then it lost over two million us dollars casapreco company limited it lost over two million dollars in the space of two months of nigeria shutting down uh, its uh, land borders in the first month it lost one million us dollars second month another one million us dollars now let's talk about alumo bitters like i said every, almost everybody in nigeria knows alumo bitters you understand even me i tested it i i take them that time you understand alumo bitters was sold almost in every there's no shop you go retail shop you go and say i want to buy alumo bitters that they will not give you 
Aloe bitters. For me, I think it was one of the best selling bitters then, and the and the most popular then in Nigeria. In Nigeria, so you can you can imagine. Uh, another country's you know brand and Nigerians are these people that they welcome things. If it's they don't care, Nigerians don't care to know if it's from here or from here. Once it's good, they will patronize you. And other things that Nigerians like foreign things, they like foreign products. So sometimes it's, when you hear some Ghanaian musicians say, "Oh, why are you playing only Nigerian songs here? The Nigerians do they play our songs? Why do you do this?" You see, we are one people, and we cannot do without each other. You see, Nigeria, Ghana, West Africa, we are just we are one people. You understand? So you see your goods then in Nigeria. If you with the buy a move, hey, Alomo sell. Alomo didn't even need much adverts. It's popular. It's good. When you take it. You, your guys, your, your guy will even tell you, ah, Charlie, this thing is EDB, you test them. From there, you test it and you are started buying Alomo bitters. You understand? People just loved it in Nigeria. Now, let's talk more about, about, about how the losses that, you know, the company made during that time that Nigeria closed its land borders. So, um, manufacturer of Alomo bitters, Catapreco Company Limited, disclosed that it had lost, you know, about $2 million, you know, in revenue as a result of the closure of Nigerian borders. Okay, the Ghanaian company made this known in a report signed by its head of international business development, Francis Holy Adza. Now, Ghana, Ghana, Ghana people and some other West African countries say that they weren't, you know, notified that the decision of you know closing the border that it just took them. On our ways, they didn't know that it was really going to happen. So some of you know uh, the the government of Ghana was you know you know trying to negotiate with Nigeria how to create a corridor you know for their goods to you know come in to you know Nigeria. You understand? Because they were losing a lot of of money. Now I'm still going to tell you how some businesses some businesses in Nigeria you know was also also affected. So just keep watching the videos. Not only I'm not going to talk about only Casapreco. I'm going to touch all angles. Okay. Now, according to the report, the company had managed this Casapreco had managed to transport three loaded trucks before the border was closed. So before Nigerian border was closed, uh, Casapreco company had already transported three loaded trucks. Ah, they are making a lot of money from Nigeria. Of course, Nigeria, we support, we support no matter where you come from, as long as your product is good. Now, this led to the company's decision to venture into other African regions like Ivory Coast, Senegal, Togo, Benin, and other European markets, you understand, so as to offset the loss incurred from the Nigerian market due to the, the border closure yes now when they saw that one of well, I say one of their biggest markets because of course the population in nigeria can make you know your products you know can fetch you a whole lot of money so let me say one of their biggest uh, markets due to the closure of, of border so of course they needed new markets so that they won't continue incurring loss so that was when they started looking uh, to other african countries and maybe other european uh, countries now, Alomo bitters. Let me say another thing about Alomo bitters. Then, some guys will tell you that ah, if you take Alomo, Alomo bitters before you go to the other room, you understand? You understand? <laughs> oh, rock <honey. laughs> Oh, you understand? <laughs> I don't want to talk everything, but you know everything. <laughs> so people just loved it. You understand? And it tests. The test is very okay. Test nice. Okay. So Casapreco, you know, had a huge market share. In Nigeria, you know, as its beverage, Alomo bitters is widely consumed by Nigerians. I told you already. Okay, so reports. I want to give you details now. Reports had it that in 2018, the company sold 580,000 cartons, a hey, 1. Point, no 13.9 million bottles. Oh, Charlie, of Alomo, Alomo bitters, you know, alone was sold alone in nigeria so you can imagine the amount of uh, money that they are making from nigeria like chale nigeria nigeria is blessed to the population you see any business you see any business you do in nigeria and you conquer the nigeria market chale are made for life
because only the population in Nigeria alone has a very big advantage in further your business. Understand? So the herbal alcoholic drink which entered Nigerian market in 2014 is mostly taken by men to enhance their <laughs> you understand uh -huh. so however it is also acclaimed to have plants and herbs that are good for blood circulation with anti-malaria and anti-fever properties okay so that's for alumo now let's talk about other ways that business were affected now spare parts business spare parts business in ghana spare parts business in ghana now some people are into spare parts business in ghana some of them are nigerians some of them are ghanians you understand so <clears throat> now because of funds many of them don't go to china to buy their spare parts many of them are buying spare parts from nigeria you understand is a fact many of them are buying spare parts from nigeria because they couldn't afford going to china to buy to or to import goods from china so they looked towards nigeria so now when the borders you know the when it was closed it wasn't possible for for them to you know bring in those uh goods and it affected their businesses some of them closed their businesses some of them started sourcing these spare parts from you know any other place that they will get it from so it's really affected you know businesses in some businesses in ghana and also in nigeria because remember that uh, the Ghanaians that we are buying from Nigerians now the Nigerians over there couldn't sell their products to the Ghanaians so you see how the two the both sides they were actually uh, losing so it's not not just only Ghana you understand people in Nigeria too you understand so now agricultural products like eggs many hoteliers in Nigeria many hoteliers in Nigeria we are buying eggs from Ghana they are buying it at a cheaper rate we are buying from Ghana, importing it from Ghana, agricultural produce, importing it from Ghana. Whereas we had those same products here in Nigeria, but maybe because they input, they get it cheaper in other countries, you know, or people, I don't just know. But then Nigeria needed to grow its own, like like rice, the rice they import into Nigeria. Nigeria, we have farmers, and these farmers are planting rice making harvest but they are not making sales because of uh, the imported rice people now prefer to buy the imported rice and they abandon their locally made goods and that was also hurting the economy it was affecting the economy a whole lot so the president uh you know closed the land borders not just agricultural products like i said uh you know smuggling of uh drugs you know you understand all those stuff so the border was closed so to, so as to check net all those things and to make the economy you know of nigeria to you know uh grow again not relying on imported goods because any economy that is based or relies on uh, you know importation you have to you know the economy that economy is not strong you have to do, have do more of exportation than importation if you want your economy to actually be you know strong so tell me in the comment section this is a discussion let's discuss tell me in the comment section what you think or what you thought about the closure of uh the nigerian land border in august 2019 did it affect someone you know did it, of course i know a whole lot of people that it's affected okay so thank you guys for watching this video up till this extent and please do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to share uh this video if you want something like this more videos like this just subscribe and tell me i'll put out more videos i have a lot of uh videos okay thank you guys for watching this video see you guys in my next video bye